everyone. It's Don't Tell Me What We Are Live. It's all good. I'm so excited for today because I'm joined by Henry Santos, member of Aventura, one of the most influential Latin groups of all time. How does it <laughs> feel you. to hear that? One of the most influential groups of all time. Ay, ay, ay. I don't even know where to start because technically it was a lot of work. Yeah. Like there was too much work. And we appreciate, you know, the love that we're receiving today. However, it's still a lot of work, you it's, know. And yeah. so that's that's the only part that I realized, you know, that we've earned what we, you know, the love that we got from the fans. So uh, that's it. And celebrating 20-year anniversary of Aventura, you guys got three shows here in Chicago. What is it? Describe to me the feeling that you get knowing that 20 years later, you guys are still, still selling and selling out. Right now, I got goosebumps. Yeah. You can't see it, but I do. <laughs> However... Like 20 years is, is crazy because we go to the shows now and it's, it, it's something that's been passing on, you know, from like parents to the kids mm -hmm. that have become Aventura fans. Yes. So it's like it has doubled the love, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the years. And and that is amazing to see how how not only like uh, the people that grew up with us, but like their kids are like crying and screaming at the show. So yeah. that's, that's overwhelming. Yes. That's awesome. And I mean, you said you got chills, but I'm also, I also feel proud, right? Because as a Latina, as a, as a Dominican, the things that you have been able to accomplish, yeah. not many people have, not many groups have. Uh, I mean, it, it, performing alongside with Romeo at Yankee Stadium, yeah. you growing up a <laughs> Yankee fan. Yes. What yes. was that like for you, that moment? Like my head just like, you know, exploded. Um, it was it was something that we were very proud, you know, for my cousin at yeah. the moment. And for every moment that has been that big, for example, at MetLife uh, uh, Stadium, Stadium yeah. also, like we were there with him performing. Yeah. So it was like a, it was a great call from my, from my cousin. We're, we're really happy for what he was doing. However, Aventura is where he started. Yeah. You know, we started this all together and it was just a beautiful thing, you know, to be on stage with him and and have the crowd go crazy because they didn't expect us to go there. You so. guys were one of the first, probably the only groups really, I think, as, as far as in, in the, the Latin world, to touch on real life issues, social issues from mm -hmm. abortion yeah. to domestic violence to pedophilia. Mm -hmm. Were those things that you guys did consciously in you writing the songs? Not at first, mm -hmm. not at first, because um, we were just trying to change the game because, mm -hmm. you know, it was mostly about my wife left me, you know, sadness. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, there's only so much that we want to go that route um, with. But we decided to, like, make social. We, the first one that we did was uh, El Aborto, El, no? El Aborto, sí. Please help me. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, and, um, <laughs> no, was it El Aborto or Hermanita? No, it was El Aborto. Sí, yeah, and yeah. then Hermanita was on mm -hmm. the next um, album. Because we had such, you know, success with um, El Aborto. Mm -hmm which actually is No Lo Perdona Dios, that's mm -hmm, the name of the song, mm -hmm. um, uh, that we continued, you know, down that path, you know, adding in every album something that was, like, socially conscious. Yeah, and it was something that people can, everyone around the world yes. relates to yes. something in that song. I mean, I remember the first time I heard it, Manita, uh, which is a song that touches on domestic violence. I, I, I knew someone had a family member who was going through that, and, I, mm -hmm. and it was like the song, I mean, I mean, it made me hate that man so much more. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I mean, being able to, to, ref, to reflect and kind of connect with that audience on that level is, is so cool. There's always somebody that needs yeah. to hear it, yeah. you know? And there's a lot of people that are, you know, going through different um, situations that, they just need to have that little extra push in yeah. order for them to actually speak about it. Yeah. And I think, you know, those songs, um, I hope, you know, that it helped on that path. What's your favorite Aventura song? There you go. Why you gotta go there? <laughs> I mean, there's so many. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Um, I'll tell you that my favorite album was The Last. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. While you're working on, well, me, us, like, well, we were, we were working on, on different albums, we were strategizing, you know, we're like, oh, well, we could, you know, work. By the last, we already knew what we wanted, mm -hmm. you know, and thank God, everything from the mix and the master, from the way we did our voices, we were like masters at it already. Mm -hmm. The kings of bachata. Yes, and we had fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it needs the, uh, the only album I'll put from, you know, from beginning to end without skipping. 
You know, yeah. like I don't I love that album. Wow, but it's interesting to know that there are albums that he skips, guys. He skips his own albums. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I gotta be honest. But. You gotta be honest. But now one of the reasons that we were so excited to have you here on Navida Baseball and the way that we connected you to to the sport is because you are all huge baseball fans growing oh, yes. up in the Bronx. Absolutely. You're obviously fans of one of the, if not arguably, one of the le most legendary teams. The legendary <laughs> team, you know? The, the New York Yankees. Yes. Yes. Now, uh, where did your fandom start? How did that start? Oh, let me tell you. So all my uncles are Mets fans, okay? I grew up in the Dominican Republic, okay? okay? And every time they went there, uh, they will talk about, they will talk about the Mets, oh, the Mets this, the Mets that. In the 80s, I think 86 or 87, was it the... 86 was, you know, the last time that they um, got a World Series mm -hmm. ring. And that's when I started hearing about baseball because I was into folk, I was into soccer okay. prior to that. Um, so I started watching the games with them and they were going all crazy. And I was like, I don't like this team. I don't know why. Um, I don't like the colors. I don't like the players. <laughs> I don't know. But then like a few weeks later, they told me, oh, yeah, the, that's the other, there's the other New York team. The Yankees. And I went, what? There's another team? <laughs> and then I saw the stripes. And then I saw the logo. And then I saw the players. And I was like, oh, I like the Yankees. You know, that's where it all started. The and look. I was I was still like six or seven years old. When I got to the to New York at 13, guess what? I was out my my father's apartment was right across from Yankee Stadium. I'm talking about this is the building and this is Yankee Stadium right across one street, mm -hmm. 157 and Girard. Mm -hmm. And Yankee Stadium was right there. And I was like, okay, this is this is meant to be. I am a <laughs> Yankees fan. Yeah. So, you know, from my childhood all the way till now, I've been blessed to have even uh, season tickets and, and like, is it season tickets that it's called? Or that we yeah. The whole season? Yeah. Yes, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, yes, I've, I've, you know, I was there for the World Series in 09. Mm -hmm. um, I look at my little brother because he, he reminds me of all these things because I, I got so much stuff in my head. And uh, however, you know, I, I'm going to die Yankee fan. Favorite player? Of all time? Of all time. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. I can mention so many because not only I'm a Yankees fan, but I'm a baseball fan in mm -hmm. general. So I have respect for different accomplishments from different players. So to just like pinpoint one out, really, I'm going to have to say Jeter because... Your name is Henry Jeter, right? <laughs> yes. But let me explain. <laughs> I was 17. Okay. I became a citizen of the United States and... Uh, Jeter had just started. He was like, I was super hype about him. And I got the choice of changing my last name <laughs> when I became a, a citizen. And I didn't even think about it. And I just went, Henry Jeter is what it is. <laughs> so <laughs> I got back home and my mother was like, what did you do? And I said, well, I made Santos my middle name and I became Henry Jeter. Jeter is the last name. And where is Taveras? Where is Taveras? And she got so mad. Because that's actually, her last name. That's her last name. <laughs> so technically you are Henry Santos, Santos Taveras G Jeter. No. no Henry Taveras. Santos Jeter Taveras. Taveras. Yes. <laughs> I think this Sorry, is probably Mom. the first time. And uh, maybe you may be the only one who has ever changed his last name <laughs> to Jeter because of Derek Jeter. Yeah. Was, uh, have you ever... Have you met him? Of course. And did yes. you tell him the story? No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, didn't get a chance. We actually met a couple of times while um, in Aventura we performed mm -hmm. uh, for the New York Yankees uh, twice. And but the second time that I met him, um, yeah, um, where was it? Was it at uh, Carlos Beltran's? Uh, oh, it was at the Carlos yeah, event. Yes, yeah. event, mm -hmm. and he just came by. He was just passing by. He put right past by me. And he said hello to me, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and he came by surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and um, I, was, I was at that event. Yes, yeah. I think yeah. I think you were. Yeah, uh, I was at that event. Yep. Okay. Now, if you could have been a baseball player, because I'm assuming had you not been in the music business, yes. you would have been a baseball player. Absolutely. What position would you have played? Center field, or maybe a closer. Because oh, so I you did could that. Pitch? Yes. You you think you could have taken over Mo? Yes. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Okay. My little brother's looking at me. Come here for a second. Come here, come here, come here, come here. And he has a pinch. Yeah, you can stand in the middle. 
Really? So this is um, Henry's younger brother. I Hello. made him um, a baseball player. Could he, could, could he be the next Mariano Rivera? I don't know about Mariano. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's 600 plus saves. I don't know if you had the control. He had good stuff. He had, definitely has good stuff. Like growing up, like I would, I learned to play baseball off of him. Like he was the one throwing me pitches and stuff. And he was the one that got me into it. And he was throwing heat. So it was just like, I was, I'm 14 years younger than him. So I was just there like <laughs> trying to, trying to catch up to these, to these pitches, but he definitely has good stuff. I don't know if you have the control, but definitely had good stuff enough to, to Yeah, you pitch. can't tell, you can't tell. But so talk to me about like the, the trending topics and hot topics in baseball. You mentioned it a little earlier before we started the show. I'd like to get both of yours opinions because you are such baseball fans on the Houston Astros. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <Why would you? laughs> well, and it's funny because we did talk about this earlier. Yeah. And, um, you know, Ozzy mm -hmm. Jr., like we, we actually played um, MLB, MLB. Uh, yeah. the show. Mm -hmm. And there's a feature there that's called guest pitch, mm -hmm. right? For certain people that play the game, this is a feature that will help you guess the, you know, the, the pitch that the, the, the pitcher yeah. is throwing. To me, I told him, it's exactly what was going on with the Houston Astros. They had an advantage because they knew what was coming. So technically, they had the guest pitch, yep. you yeah. know? And and to me, that was absolutely cheating because, it, to you know, the, the integrity of the game mm -hmm. for me is very important. And if you are going to be you, – you need to focus on, on, on your talent, mm -hmm. you know? You need to – like probably 80% of the game is mental. You know, if not more. Mm -hmm. um, but if you already have this advantage, you know, I think is is unfair. But the the worst part, I was telling my brother, is the fact that they messed up so many records for the other guys. You know, like this. Um, what was it? Um, Mike Bolsinger. I think he was the one who, who he, yes, they, that they had a lawsuit that he filed against the Houston yeah. Astros because of the fact that his last major league appearance was literally in Houston. They, they knew what was coming, so he had one of his worst outings. I think he gave up six-plus runs or a lot, and he mm -hmm. just couldn't get out. And they took him out after that. The very next day, he was demoted into the minor leagues, and he never made it back to the show. So after this came out, he was just like, wait, what happened? Like, this is this is ridiculous. Or oh, he could have just really been not good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> that's another choice. Yeah. You know, that's something else. But this is – Yeah, yes, I know. Choice. I mean, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Yeah. But, yeah, this is a topic that definitely gets the fans Her show. fired up. When he oh, was yeah, sitting, yeah. like, he messed everything up. Uh, uh, what was it? Um, uh, pitchers, closer, uh, 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 Chapman. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, against um, Altuve. Yeah, you I mean, know? you it, being that the Yankee fan, you guys will think, how was that? I was like, is is Altuve really that good? You know, that he actually foresaw that he was coming with that slider again. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it, it just didn't make any sense at the moment, but, at the moment, but it does now. Mm -hmm. I was like, sure, if he knew it was coming, obviously, you know, that he was, he was going to wait for it and, you know, do, hit the home run. And send us home and it disappoints get us mad, so like because he's he's five six, so he's such an inspiration to so many players. But it he's is just like he's it doesn't matter what size you are, as long as you have the heart, you can play baseball. Baseball is a, uh, a game that you could be seven foot tall, you could be five foot six, you could still be successful. Mm -hmm. And that's what Jose, Jose Altuve was showing people. It was like it doesn't matter, you can still be successful it's as long as you work hard is. enough. But, but it's just like now it's just a bad taste in your mouth. Yes. Are we ever are, are people ever gonna forgive them? Nope. <laughs> I'll tell you gonna, one thing. I will, I'll tell you one thing. He's the equivalent of that kid that you play with, but he's always cheating. Like that's in my in my head. Is like, mm -hmm. were you ever really that good? Mm -hmm. You know, like you'll still play, but you're still in the back of your mind. Like, like eh. yeah, cool. Like I'll play with you because if there's nobody else, I'll, I'll do oh. it. You know, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But I I'd rather yeah. get someone that is. I say 100% legit. Sorry. No, it's all good. Now we're going to wrap a little bit up of this interview. But, you know, athletes always want to be singers and singers always want to yes. be athletes. Yes. So here we're going to put you to the test. And you to the test because you said you were better. Um, <laughs> we're going to see if you can actually take some cuts off of a tee that we have here in, in our La Vida Baseball headquarters uh, and see who can do it better. All right. Are you down? Let's do it. I haven't done it in a minute, <laughs> All right. but let's do we'll it. We'll give you some practice swings, and, 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 and we'll see who's got the better swing between, between the both of you. So, guys, we're going to take a quick break, and then we will be right back.
baseball is more than a game. It's a way of life. And for many like us, it gives life. We play for our country. We play for those who came before us. We play for our gente. We play for our family. To us, family means everything. Our orgullo is as distinct and colorful as our people. Though our words are flavored with many accents, one thing is for certain. We all speak the same language. Baseball. It's in our sangre. It's in our lineage. For as long as the game has existed, we have brought our own sabor to it. Our history is the game's history. Our amor begins on makeshift diamonds, on islas bonitas and comunes around the world. Our culture informs how we played the game. With passion, with beauty, with grace and with strength. To play the game we have persevered. For every triumph we have sacrificed. The game has many stars. We grow up playing on Nuestra Tierra, dreaming of the day that the game welcomes us home. The bonds forged on the diamond are unbreakable. We grow up loving the game in hopes that the game loves us back. So he's going to take some swings now. Henry Santos from Aventura. Said you know many years. The uh, first one was good. Okay. Hey. Hey. Wow. <laughs> he took the whole thing. Well, they didn't get any coins because I'm Jesus yeah. Christ. You are not Jesus. Cuidado, cuidado, tu lecho para allá. Trying to, you know, go low. That's a home run. That's okay. a home run. <laughs> All right, now, now it's your turn. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Kevin. Oh, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's all good. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining us. And I hope to be at one of the shows these next couple of days. Yes, absolutely. And definitely enjoying some, some aventura. But thanks again. Congratulations on all of your success. And Thank I hope you. to have you back on here and talking some more baseball. Invite us. Yeah, we'll be here. yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, it's, it's a promise. It's done. It's a done deal.